I'd now like to invite Graham Harper, the hugely experienced TV drama director who, whose work ranges from Doctor Who to Inside Nine. He's here to tell us all about the, uh, the jury's finalists. Welcome to the stage, Graham. Hello. Sounds like I'm going to do a big sermon. Um, but before we, um, uh, we come to the award giving, uh, I just want to say the jurors thought the 22 entries for the drama category were of a far higher standard than in previous years. Uh, and that made the viewing of them really great entertainment and, and a great pleasure. Normally in the cinema, uh, a film lasts 90 to 120 minutes to tell its story, but you all had much less time, obviously, to tell your stories, and that's quite a task. So big congratulations to everyone, um, all 22 teams, for producing so many strong and good stories, and all very different. But this made it especially different for us to whittle down all the entries to the top three nominations, but we managed. <laughs> Punchline... <clears throat> is a film that throws us into the turmoil of a lonely comedian who is fighting his own internal and external demons. But when he's offered a, a career lifeline from an up-and-coming comic talent, are his troubles over? With a very strong script, well-directed, a superb central performance and great support from the other artists, this story is very well told. It sparked... Oh, that's, sorry, wrong page. Um, <laughs> uh, it had wonderful lighting... Terrific camera work and sound work, and the set design all helped the central character to live in those settings. Uh, a very good story and a terrific production throughout. The second nomination is Faith. This film is rich in period detail. The script is sparse in its use of dialogue, although that section there was quite a large piece, which was fabulous. Uh, it lets the camera work and performance tell the story. The pace is gentle, but the story is very dramatic and the director lets the film breathe all the way through, giving it a bleak and timeless austere atmosphere, and, and it works really, really well. It is about the conflict in a family where the father is a devout Orthodox Christian who relies on God to provide for everything, while his daughter is dying upstairs, not getting any medical help at all. Faith and ignorance prevail, and the story re resonates today. And the third nomination is Philip Knight, this film is a fast and energetic political thriller. Exciting script written by the director Christopher Hales with a ruthless central character who is bent on destroying all his political opponents, man and women, um, by blackmail or even murder. With the shenanigans that are going on amongst our politicians today, um, <laughs> the story is quite near the truth, I thought, although I hope not. Um, it sparkles with good direction, good ideas, terrific but heightened performances, exciting camera work, unusual locations, classy art department work, and it felt like a lot of planning. That's what we've been saying before. A lot of planning went into this shoot, and it left me wanting more and looking forward to seeing the team's next project. All 22 dramas show good ex expertise and skill in crafting a story and producing a film. But this year's winner showed a producer and a director heading their or leading their team into unknown with great style as they interpreted a, a riveting script that posed many difficult challenges and they succeeded in putting a lot of production values on the screen. So it gives me great pleasure to tell you that the award goes to Philip Knight. <laughs>